Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christmas in February. Yeah, it's the 25th of the month again. So we will be making something for Christmas that we didn't get done this last year or trying to get ahead for this next year. It's also Punched Out Thursday with Kathy, Krista, myself, Dorothy, Rebecca, and Sonia. So there will be two sets of links down there below. I'm going to scrap this picture of my mom with Santa. She had had to go into the nursing home for rehab for a while once. And while she was there, she got to be at a Christmas party with Santa. So I took her picture. It would have been awesome if she had been sitting on his lap. But that would have never happened. I think this is probably the only picture she ever had with Santa. So I am glad that I've got it. The paper I'm using is Echo Park. And it's Twas the Night Before Christmas. I'm pretty sure. I've got them kind of all mixed up. But I'm pretty sure both of these were Twas the Night Before Christmas. And they weren't quite enough to do 12 inches. So I put them on white paper that was a little bit damaged. And I'm putting this Martha Stewart punch. I call it a ribbon punch. I'm sure it's got a fancier name. But I don't know what it is. So I'm going to call it the ribbon punch. Because you can put ribbon through it after you punch it out. I haven't never put ribbon through it. But I have put paper plenty of times. And I put the red. Just, well, just to help bring out the red that's in the paper on the left hand side. Mostly why I picked it out. I used the Martha Stewart Alpha Punches for part of the title. And then the other part is Tim Holtz Wonderland for the Santa. And the title is You Are Never Too Old for Santa. If she'd been sitting on his lap, though, I would have said you're never too old to sit on Santa's lap. But, you know, that didn't happen. <laughs> and that uh, deer, reindeer die, that is the cutest thing. Ella Connor here on YouTube. She sent me some steel rule dies at Christmas, and that was one of the ones she sent. And I thought, oh, man, I don't want to have to wait a whole other year to use this little reindeer. And then I thought, oh, yeah, isn't it awesome? We're going to be doing the 25th of the month again. So, yeah, I took the dark brown one that I punched, cut out first and put it on the bottom so the antlers would come up behind the head of the deer. And then I punched out the body part of the deer in well it's a craft but it kind of looks like an old paper bag because it has little spots on it and I thought well that would look cute on the deer and then I inked it with uh, tie-dye ink and I also used a little scrap of gold on the collar and that collar is just so cute and then I made the eye with brown and did not like it it just did not look quite dark enough. So I went ahead and did one for the nose too when I did it in black. And I like that a whole lot better. I'm highlighting it with my Sigma pen. I bought it at the same time I bought the gel pens thinking I've bought Sigma pens for years and they never last very long. This one's lasted longer than any of them. <laughs> And so, yeah, and I like the gel pens, too, so I think I'll probably buy them again because it came in a set of three, and it's like three different point sizes, so I can use three different ones depending on what I need them for. And the three of them were cheaper than the one Sigma, so that was impressive, too. Um, I'm using, well, it's, I used a chipboard piece that came off that chipboard and it says Santa Claus is coming to town. Well, you can see he's already there, but I went ahead and used it anyway. And then I used a tag that says Happy Holidays. And since I didn't need the whole way up there at the top of my page, I cut that off and I'm just going ahead and using it anyway by tucking it behind the photo and putting some twine with it. Now, I had a hard time trying to decide where I wanted my deer. I wanted him on the right-hand side, but he didn't look good there. He didn't show up quite as well as I liked. And laying there on Santa's coat, he still don't show up as well as I like. So I'm going to end up moving him over where he shows up 
on the beard because of the beard being white. And I like that better. On the right, I'm going to have, well, those presents that you see plus the snow globe. And then I'm going to have a little chipboard thing that says, and to all a good night since Santa's on there. I thought that would go pretty good. And the snow globe, my mom loves snow globes. So I thought, oh, that would be a great one to put on here because she did love snow globes. I did too. I still do. I think they are awesome. I don't know who thought of it to do something like that, but it is so cute. I think, um, it, well, I, I, I've i never known a little kid that didn't love it. So I think it's kind of wondrous to them. At least it was when I was a kid. And I think that's why I still like them so well. I went to set my deer on the page and I thought, well, his legs look kind of spindly and I, they were just kind of sitting there, you know. So I used the Tim Holtz, I think they're called Christmas Greenery dies and cut some greenery. And I'm also going to put some journaling on here. Yeah, I am. A very small amount. Just so if one of the grandkids that was born after mom passed away and maybe didn't recognize her quite so easily, it says mom at the nursing home Christmas party on there. So if they do read it, they will realize it's her. But yeah, I'm done with my layout. This was, was super quick, <laughs> surprisingly quick for me. But uh, if you look down there below, you'll see the links for both sets of gals. And I think there might be one or two crossovers, me included. And loads and loads of inspiration if you click on those links. If you want to see some Christmas, click on the ones for the Christmas one, of course. And if you want to see the Punched Out Thursday and see what they do with their punches, click on them. Well, just click on all of them. But if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so much. But I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.